Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also the publisher of Reading the Pictures. Last week, Texas was plunged into crisis after historic cold weather system left much of the state without water or power. The scope of the disaster, which was widely attributed to climate change, exposed the state's political independence and overdependence on fossil fuel, with much blame to go around. This photo was taken by Tamir Khalifa for the New York Times. In the picture, we see downtown Austin in the background and a darkened suburb in the foreground impacted by rolling blackouts. You know, typically we like to read left to right, but one of the things that's so interesting about this image is that it requires us to read right to left. Our eyes are first drawn to that skyline, to that area of more light, to the city, and then we're pulled left by that row of cars in the foreground. And then finally we land on that pinprick of light that is these people in this car. And so in this way, the photo just kind of tells the story of what's happening through the way that it moves your eyes. This photo is similar to others from Austin, as well as from Dallas, and also from Houston that were posted to social media depicting the lights on downtown while the other areas were sitting in darkness. And it's understandable that citizens would be frustrated and angry over the rolling blackouts, charging that the electricity was being distributed unfairly. It represents a kind of disconnect in Texas over how much they've deregulated their energy, how much they've decided to go it alone so they're not connected to any national or regional power grids. The governor blamed wind power when, in fact, their climate denial obscures the fact that climate change had a large hand in creating a event of this scale. So, you know, what we're looking at is really where a lot of the blame fell. It was misdirected, but people felt that they just were literally left out in the cold. Yeah, it's just hard not to see this photo as a microcosm for all of that, right? The big versus little, the light versus dark. All of these visual juxtapositions really serve as a microcosm for the mess that is Texas energy. The complex of elements in the image really speak to the storytelling power of news photography these days. From the brilliant skyline, to the darkened apartment building, to that blacked out light pole against the sky, and to these two people retreating to the car like a shelter in a kind of mechanized campfire. The picture is about fragmentation and isolation and being abandoned to the dark and the cold by what's supposed to be modern civilization. And instead, we get this almost apocalyptic image that is ultimately so ironic because the Texas credo is all about freedom and rugged individualism. And the ultimate message here, absent heat, electricity, or even running water is, you're on your own, friend. 